How you doing everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby and I am the master of the universe. How you doing? I was thinking about the Fight Club, the movie. Loved it. Loved the scene where Norton kicks his own ass in his boss's office. That was amazing. Actually got an award for a fight scene at the MTV Award, Music Awards. <clears throat> good stuff but I was thinking about like these punk ass bitches that are attacking me on my YouTube channel millennials uh, gutless you know these motherfuckers wouldn't say this shit to my face you know it period end of fucking story I'm 6'1 220 when I'm not full when I haven't eaten a meal and I will put a dick in the dirt getting in my face you know what I'm saying so you got these punk ass bitches you know their balls will swell the fuck up while they're fucking typing in their shit in their mommy's basement but stand in front of a motherfucker they ain't gonna be saying shit because they're punks but here's the thing they're punks because they ain't never been tried and tested in battle you see like World War II these guys came back they were badasses the guys that survived they were fucking real men they were badass they came home, they made love to their women, and they had fucking kids, and they made a fucking life of it, right? They went and worked in steel factories and fucking, or became bikers, I don't know, fuck. It was a wild times, right? But they were men. They knew they were men. They weren't questioning, am I a man with your fucking little man buns? That's for librarians, by the way. These men that walk around with their hair and no spandex is not for men. I look, if you're, if you're, except, in, okay, ex exceptions if you're, you know, homosexual, then God bless you, wear them and love them. But if you think you're a man and you're trying to be a man, if you're trying to be like John Wayne, don't, because you don't, John Wayne would never wear spandex, baby. Not like that. I don't, maybe he would. I don't know. Maybe, but here's the thing. He'd rock that shit, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. A fight club. Me, I've been tested and tried in battle. Knock around guy, right? I've been in fist fights. I've taken, a, like I said, that knife, when I got stabbed in the back, there were six of them. Six guys. And I was fighting them myself. And then they felt the need to break out a knife. So I was doing that well. So, if you're going to be a man, and you think you're a man, and you're listening to this, and you're thinking, oh, this guy's full of shit, whatever. You're probably in need of a fight club. I don't recommend. I thought it was a great movie. I thought it was a little brutal. I've been in fights. They're not fun. It's usually a brutal fucking situation. And same with war. Same with battle. Is there other ways for men to, to prove yourself? I don't know. Not be a dick. Get up in the morning. Wash your ass. Say yes ma'am. No sir. Treat your woman with respect. Treat the people around you with respect. That might make you a man. Being a punk ass bitch. No. <laughs> Fucking man bun. No. Spandex. No. This is for the men. Ladies. I love you. God bless you. Mm. Mm. This is just for the millennial men. <clears throat> you ain't got a pair. Until you're a man. Right? And you ain't going to get a pair attacking people on YouTube and shit like that man go out in the world go out and live in the forest for a fucking month or so i don't know man test yourself i'm not telling you to go out and pick a fight with a big dude because you probably get your ass whooped man take you know i don't know i don't know i'm trying to figure out how to get these young millennial men to 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 grow up to be fucking men and usually it took war or a, a lot of ass whoopings to get a motherfucker to be right so what is it going to take for the millennial men to act right, to grow a pair and to actually keep them? To grow a pair that when you're standing in my presence and you can still speak that shit to me, I'll respect it. You might get an ass whooping, but I'll respect it, right? As a compared to this fucking sniping shit, <laughs> fuck man, I laugh when motherfuckers talk shit to me. Especially when it's stupid, I mean, trust me, I've been doing this for years, kid. I was, I was, I was studying to be a journalist, right? And I had to get digital for real 
and, and I was online. I was doing all the. I I did that Twitter battle shit, but you know. But I understood the toxic level and how horrible it was. It was just negative, and it wasn't. It wasn't. It was just draining, and it wasn't helping my power at all. So I I annexed that shit, right? But that's what it is. It's like you, that's your battlefield, or your oh, you got your first person shooter games. Fucking talking about some pussy shit. Usually sniper rifles. Or, I don't know. Here's the thing. It's training to be a killer. It's training to be a fucking slave. See, I'm an emperor. I wouldn't have to go to battle. I would send my boys into battle. And they would take care of shit. Emperors don't fight. Emperor's not a slave. You're a slave if you're sitting there doing that first person. <sighs> Emperors don't pull the trigger. Emperors get other people to pull the trigger. So if you're out there doing the first person shooter game, you're a slave. They're training you to be a fucking slave. Oh, you can be, I'm a soldier. Yeah, you're a fucking, you're taking orders, aren't you? You ain't giving the fucking orders. So when are you going to give the orders? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the difference between an emperor and a scrub. Emperor and a slave. I don't, nobody tells me what the fuck to do. I do the orders. I give the orders. See how that works? <sighs> to be, have your power, you don't listen. You're not influenced by other human beings. You are the influencer. And not, not in the way that they're using on fucking Twitter and all that shit and TikTok. I'm talking about actually motherfuckers. Stand up, listen to what you say, and respect it and do it. That's, what, that's boss energy, babe. I think every, I'll teach the class, it needs to be taught, Have Boss Energy 101 for the Millennial Men. Let's get into it. Chapter 1, Respect for Yourself. Oh my God, we're going back to self-love, oh no. See, teaching self-love is about getting your balls, getting your manhood. It's all fucking circle, baby. Anyway. I love you. I want you to be a man. I, this is a video isn't about spite. This isn't me going, I fucking don't like millennials. I want my men, my millennial men, to be men. And I want you to be respected. I want you to be respected in yourself. Loving yourself and loving those around you and protecting those around you. That's your job, baby. Remember that. Okay? We'll be that nine shine arm, okay? I love you. I truly do. I want you to succeed. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.